Hello, huge movie fanatics with a solo review. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This was a little uh, taking us back a couple years. I think it came out in 2010. Um, and back in the day when I saw it, I loved it. Um, uh oh. And so I. Uh, but I haven't seen it since the theater. Like, I bought it on Blu ray right when it came out, and I haven't opened it. Uh, I, I do that too. And, like, so I just. <laughs> Uh, I've brought a bunch of movies over to a friend's house, and I was like, pick one, and he was like, let's go with this one, because it has the only recognizable actors. I brought, like, Better Tomorrow, and all these other things where, it, like, he oh, didn't you'd have know to read the subtitles. Yeah, pretty much. I don't want to read. Pretty, it wasn't necessarily that, it was like, that it was late at night, and he didn't want to read, and so it was that he didn't want to read, but... Right. Um, and it, there's the option of dubbing, but he was like, I don't do dub. No. And I was like, whatever, I grew up on Godzilla, so I, 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 I do dub. <laughs> I can do both. Um, anyway, he picked Scott Pilgrim, <laughs> and I was watching it for the first time since uh, 2010, and I had forgotten how amazing this freaking movie is. Like, my god, I like it so much more now than I did back then, and back then I had it on, like, my top five of the year. Um, like, I, I watched it twice since the, uh, since I'm watching it, like, three weeks ago. Um, I, it just, like, blew me away that much. Uh, this is an Edgar Wright movie, his first movie not with Simon Pegg, um, and it stars the girl that y you like from The Thing and uh, oh, yeah. uh, various other things, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, yeah. and she's like the main female lead of the movie, and this is the movie where that I sort of fell for her, like I'd seen her in Sky High and lived here and I, I, I said it before, I'd break the not mar getting married <laughs> rule for, for probably for her, I'd probably break that rule. And she plays Ramona in this, Ramona Flowers. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, she plays Ramona Flowers, and man, she's great. Michael Cera is the main lead, and he's Scott Pilgrim, and uh, he has like a weird kind of off-putting nature about him that some people love, some people hate, and it works re regardless of whether you like him or oh, hate yeah, him. Oh yeah, I'm not a big fan of that guy. Uh, he totally works in this because that's what the role demands of him. Um, you're not necessarily supposed to like him or agree with him, but you're not necessarily supposed to uh, uh, like hate him either, and you sort of find a nice middle ground as the movie progresses. This movie has some of the best action I have seen ever, and like, it, like my god, the action in this scene, uh, this movie is is so great. Um, even from the first, like, there's seven big boss battles in this movie, and each one like sort of tops the one that came before, and you're like, man, that that was so cool. That'll never get topped. And then the next one does it, and it, like, it just it's a, a nice build, and uh, uh, the characters are great. It perfectly balances funny with sort of uh, serious and drama and whatnot, like um, Edgar Wright did famously Shaun of the Dead, which uh, I, I really, really liked, but I felt got a little too dramatic towards the end of that movie, which kind of pulled me out of it a little bit, though I thought the drama worked almost better than the comedy in Shaun of the Dead. Uh, Hot Fuzz, I think, too uh, long. Oh, for me, that's his best movie. Like, I, loved, long, yeah. I loved uh, Hot Fuzz. That was just like him being perfect. This matches, like, bef before I said Hot Fuzz it was my favorite, this matches Hot Fuzz. Um, and I think he, with each movie, he gets better as a filmmaker. This just shows how great of a filmmaker that man is. Um, like, I can foresee him 10, 15 years down the line being like a Tarantino or somebody who uses genre movies to reinvent what genre movies can do. And um, Edgar Wright is just a, a profound talent, and I can't wait to see his next movie, which is uh, The World's End or something like that. Uh, there's a movie called This is the End, and there's the movie called The World's End, and I can't remember which is which. But uh, it's starring Simon Pegg and uh, his crew of Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead for one final British movie uh, before he does the next Marvel movie, Ant-Man which uh, if you've seen any video of that, that looks really kind of cool. Um, but I just had to review Shaun of the Dead, or not Shaun of the Dead, Scott, uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. The end of the world. Four stars, easy. This is an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you see this one. It uh, works for action movie fans, it works for comedy fans, it works for anime fans, it works for video game fans. It, it's for Deus fans? You might enjoy it. This is a fantastic movie. Why, why, why do you want to stay clear of this one out of curiosity? Oh, that was kind of a joke. I oh. mean, it, 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 it's, it's, not a, it's not a 
I mean, if you lent it to me, I'd watch it. It's just I'm not gonna seek it out again. It just seems like one of the teeny bopper movies. I yeah, think. it's really not. It, oh. It's sort of like um, uh, this the play, infinite playlist one. Same um, thing. It's like in the same guy, ironically. Yeah. I, mean, I never thought I'd watch it, and the only reason I did is because of whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Cleavage. But it turned out to be for me a three-star movie. Yeah, and so it, it, you like know, if you lent it to me, I'd watch it. it. It's one of those things where yeah, I could possibly do that. Um, awesome. uh, uh, it, I want to show it to my dad, but then I will let you borrow it after so he sees it. So when I see you next year. <laughs> but okay. um, uh, it's it's one of those ones where it it isn't what it appears to be, and they do like a lot of movies play with the opening titles and stuff like that. This movie plays with the opening logo almost better than any movie that I've seen. Uh, it's not that I'm avoiding it. That was yeah. kind of a joke. Yeah, no. it was. It was kind of a joke and true at the same time. Yeah, no, totally. It's just um, I wouldn't <laughs> seek it out necessarily on my own unless. What's her name was in it with the cleavage? <laughs> right on. But uh, now that Mary Elizabeth, my future <laughs> yeah. wife to not be, is I found out she's in it, then maybe Yeah, she's the the secondary lead and she has a ton of screen time. She's really good in it. Uh, it has Chris Evans, who is uh, Captain America. He's quite good in that. He's not in it very much, but he's good. It has uh, plenty of other people. Uh, the guy who played Superman, Brandon Routh, is in it. Um, Superman and Superman Returns, <laughs> which isn't necessarily a great selling point movie, but uh, I liked him as Superman. He's in the movie, and he plays one of the villains, and he's he's quite good at it. He's one of my favorite in the villains. Um, so anyway, excellent movie. Check it out. And see, uh, the, uh, even for that opening, like, little playing with the uh, uh, opening title card is quite cool. So. Thanks for watching. <laughs>